So what's going to happen on June 29th? What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tactical Solutions. I really hope that throughout this video, you guys learned something new and effort to get you one step closer to your overall goal. I at least wanted to talk a little bit more about how it's been performing. And as we could see, it hit highs of $97.41. It pulled back to lows of about $50 and then it's kind of consolidating right around the EMA line. So one of the things that we all have to admit is that Nikola is very, very good when it comes down to press releases as it's a company that literally has never produced anything but press releases themselves, right? So this is something that we all have to admit is that they are great when it comes down to marketing and when it comes down to press releases, especially since they've done their merger with VTIQ. Now, because there is so much hype with Nikola, it's kind of thinking of like what's next for Nikola in the press releases, not ne what's next for what they're going to produce, but what can cause Nikola to continue to thrive. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is the overall talk of the Nikola Badger, right? Uh, the pre-orders are set to open on June 29th, which is a very similar approach to Tesla. One of the things that you know a lot of people are asking is there is no set price. There, there's talk about it's supposed to be around sixty to ninety thousand dollars. There's no set time on when these trucks are going to be available. They have not spoken on where they're going to be manufactured, and and there's also no understanding if you actually have to set up some form of deposit to place your pre-order for this specific truck. So can anyone just place a pre-order with no monetary commitment? or does it actually take some form of monetary commitment to place their pre-order? Because I think that will have a huge influence when it comes down to the actual numbers that they get for their pre-orders if they put that paywall available on June 29th. There is no question that Nikola will try to use those specific numbers of what they receive through pre-orders, and especially as they're such a trendy and relevant company right now because of their overall stock performance, because of all this exposure, and rightfully so, right? They've done an amazing job with that. But the thing that I just continue to ask myself is, we literally know so little about this specific truck and for a truck and from a company that is so much more on the you know newer side and much more to prove they are charging more for their base model according to their estimate of 60 to 90 thousand dollars for this truck in comparison to the cyber truck which would be a direct competitor to an extent right and you can let me know what you think but when the tesla cyber truck from a much more reputable company starts at $39,000 and for there to be a truck like the Nikola truck which it looks cool it looks trust me it, it like you know it looks very very unique very interesting but all we have are renders and one of the things that I want you to ask yourself is what has Nikola produced other than press releases we have not seen them do anything when it comes down to actual production they have not produced manufactured anything just yet yet their company is worth just as much as Ford Motor Company when it comes down to the market cap valuation. I just think that's very interesting. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Nikola Badger and for all those that closely watch, you know, for those that closely watch Nikola and the overall stock performance, I do agree with you that there is not a lot that Nikola has disclosed about this specific truck, but I'm very excited to see what's to come on 29th and what's the numbers that they produce within the first day because we all know that if they're this great when it comes down to press releases and they've gained huge exposure recently, that they're going to perform well when it comes down to their pre-orders and they will directly use that to, I don't want to say pump, but market their pre-orders, which overall can create more demand if it was better than anticipated. And no question, I think it was about 150 to 200,000 pre-orders were placed for the Tesla Cybertruck. I'm very intrigued to see how this Nikola Badger truck ends up performing and how it influences Nikola stock itself. But in my opinion, there's no question that they're going to use these overall numbers for their pre-orders for their advantage and have a direct influence when it comes down to their overall publicly traded company now, which is ticker symbol NKLA. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Would you personally be someone that would want to place a pre-order for the Nikola Badger? And do you think that when they release these numbers that it will have a positive or negative influence on their publicly traded company? Let me know down in the comment section. I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. I just wanna make sure that you guys were aware of what's coming up with Nikola. Like always team, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy.